everyone, it's Apari here and welcome back to another brand new Animal Jam video. And today guys, a new update has just came out because it is Thursday. Yes, the day of all updates, the happiest day in any jammer's life because this is the day where all the updates happen and I love update Thursdays. So absolutely smash the like button on this video if you do too. And there are so many new things in this update that I cannot wait to tear into and dissect and go further and deep into everything that Animal Jam has came out with today. So let's just waste no time here and let's get right into it. So the first page up is about a Zeo statue and it says we have breaking news. It appears that the solar eclipse that Jamal recently experienced has caused the statue of Zeus and the lost temple of Zeus to be restored. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. That is actually crazy. I'm not gonna lie right now. That has been the same exact way since the beta. So the fact that it is now restored and it's looking like this apparently now is crazy. And what is that below the Zeos? Is that like a portal to the Phantom Lands or something? I have absolutely no clue what that is, but that definitely looks like something and it looks definitely interesting. But anyways, now let's continue. And it says the statue had been in ruins for ages, just like I said, and its restoration is causing jammers to ask a number of questions. Why did this happen? Why did it happen? Happen now and most importantly what could it mean for the future of Jama? we will report back as soon as we know more dot 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 so this is crazy guys this is absolutely crazy news that it just came to the land of Jama. so i am just mind boggled guys apparently the solar eclipse that total solar eclipse event in aj that happened in the last update has now had an effect so big on the game that zeos has actually came into it so whoa what do you guys think about this that i can't even wrap my head around it right now so i'm just gonna move on to the next one but we definitely have to go check this out in the Lost Temple of Zeos after I'm done reading the Jamaa journal. But anyways, then next up is a page about the Pixel Place, which is a den that Animal Jam came out with in last summer, and I made an update video with Wisteria Moon all about it. So let's go ahead and read what this page has to say, and it says, looking for a place to hang up all of your Pixel Masterpieces? The Pixel Place is perfect for jammers who want to take a walk on the 8-bit side, so be sure to pick up this beautifully blocky den today. All right, so since I already have that, I might just revisit that den and see if I can put my Pixel Paintings in it, but for now, I'm just gonna move on to the next page, which is about Animal Animal Jam's birthday! Woo! Dude, I love Animal Jam's birthday. I love whenever it comes out because Animal Jam decides to release a new cake and sometimes, or most of the time, they have interactions with it and every year they make some new fun interactions. So let's see what this page is all about. Let's see what the new code is for the birthday this year. And it says, Animal Jam is celebrating its seventh birthday. Use the code AJBDAY7 to get a gem bonus. Then use those gems to buy the seven wonders of Jama cakes that can be found in the different lands of Jama. And don't forget to party down at the AJ birthday party Wow, seven years of fun in Jamaa. Can you believe it? No, I can't believe it. I, I definitely can't believe it, guys. And also, AJ is doing this so much differently than they've ever done in the other years. So for this time around, if you use the code AJBDAY7 like they normally do, you just get a cake, right? But no, you only get gems this year, and those gems are gonna allow you to buy the seven wonders of Jamaa cakes. So I have no clue what those are all about, and I really wanna find out right now. So let's just do my daily diamond spin, cause I'm a member again, and I got three diamonds. Let's go. And I'm gonna enter the code AJBDAY7 into the code thing and see how many gems you actually get for this. Let's see this. And the amount that you get is 777 gems. Okay, that's kind of weird because it's kind of close to 666, but whatever. We're just going to take the gems. We're just going to take the gems and not worry about that. And the newspaper told me to visit seven of the world, so let's just look for it. And oh, here's the seventh birthday cake, guys. But it's the Mount Shavir Summit Cake and it only costs 77 gems. And now we're in Appendale to find the Appendale Cake, so where could that be? Let's see. It's probably down in this mud pit down here. And no, it's actually up here by this entrance and it's a big tree with the number seven on it and of course it costs 77 gems once again so let's buy it and then the outbacks is right here guys it's just a kimbara outback waterfall cake so you get a waterfall on your birthday cake sweet and for now i'm just gonna skip over the temple of zeos's cake because i don't want to go to the lost temple of zeos and then see the statue of zeos revived and i don't want to see that right now because i don't want to give my reaction to it so let's go to the crystal sands place first and see if we can find the crystal sands cake and for some reason i literally cannot find this cake where where the heck is it? I've been walking through Crystal Sands. Oh wait, here it is. Never mind. Okay. False alarm, guys. I found the cake. It's called Crystal Sands Water Slide Cake, and it's a big water slide. That looks awesome. And now Coral Canyon's cake has to be at the top of the canyon. It just has to be. It has to be right here. And I was right. Yay. Okay, let's buy this. And this looks like the most boring out of all the cakes, but whatever. I'm still gonna buy it. I'm still gonna send it. I'm still gonna send it. 
And once again, just like the Crystal Sands cake, I can't find the Serapia Forest cake. This has to be another false alarm. But currently, I've done three laps through Serapia Forest, and I haven't been able to find the cake. So this might be the only land without a cake. But seriously, guys, I literally cannot find this cake. So I don't know where the heck it is. Maybe you guys can find it. But I'm just going to move on to Jama Township, which is the last land that I haven't looked in yet, and get a cake from here. And Jama Township's cake is obviously going to be up at the mirror statue. And I just went up to the mirror statue, and the birthday cake isn't even here. So I don't think Jama Township or Serapia Forest have birthday cakes. So for now, I'm just gonna put these five in my den and see what they all look like. And uh, no, I'm gonna move them. We're gonna, we're not gonna stack them all up on top of each other. And here is what they look like, guys. So now let's click on each one of them and see if they're interactive. And it looks like the final conclusion is that they're not interactive this year. That sucks a lot. But I really do like and appreciate how Animal Jam HQ tried switching it up this year with the birthday cake thing. And they didn't just use the same generic AJ B Day 7 code and give us uh, a seventh birthday cake. But instead, they gave us a birthday cake of every single one of the lands this year and if you guys know where the other two birthday cakes are to make it seven equal birthday cakes then let me know in the comments below because honestly i am too dumb clearly to find them but now guys we're moving on to the next page in the jamaa journal which is about autumn armor and an owl sale so the autumn armor says the seasons will soon be changing in jamaa and there's no better way to join in the fun than with the all new autumn armor and that looks so cool i'm not even lying to you guys right now just giving you a fake reaction no this actually looks insanely cool i love the tail armor and i love the blanket on the back of him because it looks like the bustness blanket and the leg armor looks really cool also and the antlers dude that armor set right there could quite possibly be my favorite armor set ever in animal jam because that looks so cool to me right now in honor of national geographic celebration of owls all owls and pet owls are now on sale for half off so get your owl or pet owl in the diamond shop right now but then next up is about the summer carnival and it says it's about that time jammers the summer carnival is drawing to a close and it will soon leave jamal until next year or until next winter when they decide to bring it back during the winter for some reason but before it goes all car Carnival prizes are on sale. So head to the summer carnival because you only have a few weeks left to win your favorite prizes and have as much fun as you can before it's gone. So if you haven't already visited the summer carnival this year, like I haven't, then make sure you go visit it before it leaves AJ. But anyways, now let's move on to what is next. And what is next is the AJ desktop app that most of us Animal Jam YouTubers have been talking about and promoting for the last two months. So if you don't already have it, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Go ahead and download it right now at animaljam.com slash apps because it is honestly straight up the best way to play to Animal Jam and I'm not just saying this just because Animal Jam told me to say it or anything like that. No, I actually do think it is the best way to play Animal Jam. So go download this awesome app if you haven't already, guys. But now let's move on to the next page where it talks about traveling giraffes and coming soon goats. And it says on September 14th, the giraffes of Jamal will begin their travels. So be sure to become one of these altitudinous animals while you can. That is a hard word to say. But anyways, then it says, have you heard the great news? Jamal's goats will soon be returning and it doesn't give a date for that, but I'm assuming that'll just be happening in the next update and then the last thing up is these light up pets guys and it says light up pets are here take these adorable new pets with you wherever you go and use the light up locket to discover their secret patterns and you can find these toys at walmart but anyways guys enough with that animal jam self-promotion now let's move on to the lost temple of zeos to do two things first of all grab that last cake that i haven't gotten and then also take a look at the newly rebuilt zeo sculpture so here we go guys and here it is oh my god this is so incredible i can't believe that this is actually back up there has been seven years since this thing has been like in ruins just sitting there but now it's completely reconstruct and rebuilt and it is now like floating i didn't even know that this thing floated i just thought it was like a sculpture that sat there but no it's actually a floating structure and there's a portal right under it so who knows what that portal could lead to maybe it leads to the phantom world and that's how all the phantoms got in the game but there are probably so many theories out there so leave any theories you guys may have in the comment section down below and also there's some green buttons surrounding this statue so I have no clue as to what these green buttons could do or if they're just green lights and they mean nothing but those could maybe do something I have no clue and then the final birthday cake looks like it is right here and it's just a temple with a Zeos on top of it which is pretty much what you'd expect from a lost temple of Zeos cake so let's go ahead and buy that for seven seven gems and now let's go put that in my den after I take one last glance at this thing oh that is so amazing <laughs> But anyways, now let's go back to my den to place the seventh birthday cake here along with all the other ones. And once again, there's only six cakes here. So I don't know where the seventh one is. And if you guys know where the seventh one is, then please enlighten me. But now that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's update video. So let's jump right into the daily giveaway. So today, guys, I'm going to be giving away an orange long spikes collar in the comment section down below. And all you guys have to do to have a chance at winning it is one, leave a like on the video, two, be subscribed to my channel. And finally, leave a comment down below telling me what you think the revival of this Zeo sculpture means for 
for Animal Jam? Does it mean that there's going to be a whole entire new lore storyline and a bunch of new adventures to go along with it? Or is it just like something minuscule and doesn't really matter? Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's update video. And as always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button right in the face. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.